I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway Beat. We're at the opening night celebration for the new musical Memphis, which has just rolled into the Schubert Theater. It features music and lyrics by Bon Jovi's David Bryan and book and lyrics by Joe DiPietro. And if you listen to the beat and hear what's in your soul, you'll never let anyone steal your rock and roll. Your rock and roll. We're going down, we're going down. Take me back to the beginning. How did you? How, how did you two come together to work on this piece? Uh, I written the first draft of the script and my agent sent it out and it's about the birth of rock and roll so I wanted an authentic rocker and then one day I'm sitting home and I get a call, hi Joe, this is uh, David Bryan, I'm the keyboardist for Bon Jovi and I just read your script and I heard every song and I'd like to know how I can uh, write the score. And uh... I was reading the script and I heard every song, and that's why I called him up. Because I hear every song, he's like, "Great, he hears voices in his head." And um, I knew I had. I talked to him at. It was like noon, and I knew I had till six o'clock. So I jammed down into my studio. Music of my soul it was like I got. I picked that song. Joe said, "Pick a song." Went down into the studio, got the drum machine, did the keyboards, wrote everything, uh, sang it, did all the background vocals, burned the CD, and FedEx it out, and he had it on his doorstep the next morning. Next day, and I listened to it once, and I said, "I hope he's not crazy because this is the guy." And I am, and I am the he guy. Crazy. He's still the guy. You're a rock hero. have the great luck to play Gladys Calhoun. Uh, she's the mother of Chad Kimball's character, Huey Calhoun. And she starts out, you think you know who she is, that she's kind of this downtrodden, tired, old waitress thing, you know, with a set value system. But she really surprises you. She grows a lot, she changes a lot, and it's really fun for me to get to go on that journey every night. <laughs> My boy loves your sister, we both know that mister. This ain't no temporary phase Cause my boy is stupid He's been shot by Cupid So we got to change our intolerant ways The river and help me find my way To carry on and pray That there's a better day So won't you come join me You've got to come join me Join me as I can provide yeah. Woo! Got to electrify I play Mr. Simmons, who's the owner of a small radio station in Memphis, who he's a very cantankerous sort of guy, a very gruff guy, but he gives uh, Huey a chance and uh, uh, sort of becomes sort of uh, tied at the, at the hip with, with Huey all through his career. And, uh, uh, he sort of does things for business, and he sees that uh, Huey is a um, a real uh, a real money maker for him, and so he goes where the money is. And uh, uh, but I love the material because it it's 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 so current right now with what's happening in the country. It's it's it, I just think it's tied to that. And I think that's why audiences are responding to it. Joe DiPietro handed me a script and a CD of it when we were working on All Shook Up. And uh, I, I put the CD on once and I played it all night long on an infinite loop. So I really started with the music, which I love the most. And I grew up in the South. So uh, the story of Memphis, Tennessee in the 50s really chimed for me. Oh, 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 the 
play is that of Felicia Farrell. She's a young woman in Memphis, 1950s, African-American, who is a singer and wants very much to come out of segregated clubs and cross over. Um, and the role is so uh, dear to me because I created her. She was written on me. So I've had an opportunity to really um, infuse her with my sensibilities and my likenesses, but I've also been able to draw from the text, in the music and in the written word, and really um, um, sharpen her life and make her thoughts and her motions as clear as possible because this is a young woman who has so much to give she just needs to know what she wants to say Mama told me not to dream big but mama lived her life for and scared I stronger and I fight longer I'll do what Huey Calhoun, I, I think, is um, one of my favorite roles because, if he is my favorite role, because he he is he is an everyman. Um, he's not a, you know, although you know I am handsome, but he's not some suave, handsome, debonair leading man. He's he's everyman. He's uh, you know, and I think that that's why the audience uh, gets him is that he has his quirks and his and his and his uh, offbeat nature. But he still has uh, uh, something that he can give to the world. And for those people who come to the show who feel like they, you know, aren't that, you know, leading man or leading lady, you know, they kind of look to him and say, okay, this guy is an idiot, but he gets something done. And so I, I think that that's what I love about him most of all is that he is accessible uh, to everyone. It's amazing having my all of my my family here, my my friends, and. And, and, and seeing people react the way that you dream of an audience reacting. Uh, and it's not just tonight. All, of, all through previews, we've, people have, um, they come in with no expectations. They don't really know what the story's about. And they get on board almost immediately and, and go for a ride. And it's exciting to see that. You know, get that reaction from the audience. She sang a song and the customers came. I came from nothing. We made some money and I made me a day. I'll make her something. Stealing this music. That ain't 